Oh, this is so exciting. Hi, String. Hey, Bobby. How's it Unbelievable. Going? Unbelievable. Now I've got the real people coming on the show. This is getting exciting. Really? Why? Well, like, the, yeah, big, also... the big people, the big influencers are coming to the Bobby the Bear show like you. This is exciting. Oh my God, Bobby. I think you're like so much more cuter in real life than I thought you would be. Oh, that's nice to hear. Right, so you are, you are just like a rock star on, on LinkedIn. So what tips do you got for me? To, what do you want to talk about? Oh, we should talk about influence and marketing and how bullshit it is as well. But, okay, okay, that's great. What do you want to talk about? Oh, uh, influence and marketing and how bullshit it is. Do okay. I repeat it twice or three yeah. times? Yeah, no, no, no. So, so what, what, what do you think is bush about it? Oh, I think it, um, influence marketing is super trendy right now because companies want to um, are using influencers who right. have like a large following to like um, have access to consumers who. Uh, want trust and have connections with the brand, but I notice that people want to do business with people. Right. But I have to say, it's a very ego-driven kind of platform. Don't you think so? Yeah, because it's then, then it becomes all about me, 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 and I have the most influence, and I know seven more people than you do, and uh, let's have a big fight about that, right? Yeah, and which is very high school of us, and and when we're becoming more self-aware, uh, does it really have to be come back to? Um, us because influence what does actually Bobby what do you think influence means to you well you know being a bear I don't know much about this stuff you know it's it's so hard for me to understand I, I just think that if the, uh, for me influence is if somebody tells me something and I didn't know about it and then I buy it okay good that's good oh and but it's also like you know like the I feel like there's like ego driven influence oh yeah for sure like, for sure and then there's like societal based influence yeah, or, yeah. Um, even like there's a new niche where it's B2B influencers, like they want to talk about business and right. news around it. But even B2B is like, it's not about them. It's about how like um, the influencer, for example, is helping people grow their businesses. Yeah, that's right. And then what's really interesting, I think, is that let's say somebody is an influencer and they have X amount of people, right? Yes. That, and then somebody hires them to work with them, right? Yes. So then the client automatically is going to say, well, okay, how come I don't have all those people following me right now? Yeah. Yeah. Um, and I think that um, like, because it's such a new space right now, like um, I feel like people don't know how to like talk about like right KPI. Like, you know, do you want to build brand awareness? Do you want to do sales conversion? Do you want to like convert your followers over to my platform? So what is the like, end goal before like you deliver these like influence marketing or like what kind of, what is the goal? What is the KPI? Well, don't you think sometimes a lot of these people, their goal is just to get attention and they don't really think beyond that? Yeah, yeah, because it's like an influence marketing is like a shooting star, right? You right. First, you have this limelight on you and then you die. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it's, a, it's not a fun death. It's not a fun death, not at all. It's, it's not it's sustainable. Kind of, it's kind of like having a front row seat to a human sacrifice. That's, <laughs> that's kind I of like what... That. That's kind of what it is, right? You know, it's but, like, okay, let's see who was influencing this week. Oh, they're dead. Oh. Well, like, it's the same thing with content creators. Like, I've seen some people who create content, but they, they can't maintain the game or the content after a year, two years, or 10 Yeah, 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 that's right, that's right. Because you, you were doing this a long time. Yes. You, um, you, you didn't just pop on LinkedIn and then all of a sudden be popping it out of the park. No, but there's a lot of people who have been coming, popping out of the park. Yeah. And, and some of them are good, and some of them are, well, you know, they're, they're, they can do better. <laughs> they can do, definitely could do better. But yeah. I think like if, if they think beyond themselves and make themselves a, into a sustainable kind of influence, what kind of impact do they want to leave behind? What kind of legacy do they want to leave behind? That's right, that's right. And also, too, if they just want to make money, just be honest. Just say, that's hey, right. I, I just want to make money. There's nothing wrong with that. You're on LinkedIn. Everybody's on LinkedIn to make money. You don't have to hide behind that, for God's sakes. Well, people have like a, this weird relationship with, if anything, they're projecting their own insecurities about money. Yeah, well, you know, money is really important because I find that if I make more money, I get more honey. And that's really all I care about, you know, because I got to fatten up for hibernation season. And Dude, like, I love when my, you think. That's my KPI. So that, that is like the best KPI. My KPI is how many fried chicken stories I get per day. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like you like the chicken. That's right. You like the chicken. So for me, it's just all about, okay, did I have enough honey? Now, sometimes I got to admit it, I drink a little too much honey and I get in trouble. But then I, I go talk to the therapist about that. But that's okay. That's fine. You know, that's okay. Um, 
I think I think a lot of people take themselves too seriously. Well, well, B two B content is generally very boring. Yeah, yeah, it's like uh, nobody cares about widget B that needs to be sold in uh, in a part of Kansas and then moved to Toronto and then over to Columbia. Nobody cares about that crap. Well, it depends. Like if you if you're all about the benefits and you have to like talk to the benefits of it. But if you're all about products, then you talk about product. But generally, people want to know how it benefits them, whoever's right. listening. But you're also you're also a huge fan of startups. You love startups. I do, I do, I do. They're like geeky as fuck. Oops. But you, you're not a geek. You're like the coolest geek. You why you keep on calling? You're no geek. You're super cool. Well, like I I like hanging out with geeks because like I'm like a geek for geeks. Like, yeah, I'm you're really you're then like the supermodel of all the geeks. That's that's <laughs> why you you get all the attention. So well, what, well, go ahead. No, no, no. I was gonna say, what's your favorite startup that you've seen in the last couple months? So like um um I'm in Hong Kong. I'm in Hong Kong right now. Oh, and, cool, cool. And I've been particularly focusing on like health tech when I'm in Hong Kong. Uh -huh. And the two that stands out at the moment is Silent Mode and Circle DNA. Oh, uh, cool, cool, cool. And then what's what do you think the biggest mistake startups make is? Um, that they do too much feature and they don't focus on the use, how it benefits the users. Yeah, they that's talk about right. The, they talk about the, um, the feature too much and they don't talk right. about the benefit. Yeah, and then they don't have customers. They don't have customers. But then like, if anything, I find that like, um, people focus too much on user growth, which is great, but then like, nothing's for free, right? Because they probably uh -huh. want user growth for data. You just gave me an idea. I've been, talking to, I've been talking to a couple of people about this. For season two, I think what I'm going to do is make fun of any of the influencers that didn't come on season one. <laughs> you should do that. I think you that's a good idea. You, uh, you, be the honey. Yeah, be yeah, the honey. yeah, yeah. I've got to do a little bit. Yeah, I've got to do a little smack down here and there, right? I think that's a good idea. So in many ways, like people want entertainment, right? So I'm calling yeah. out all the bullshit in the influencer market. That's right. That's right. So, you know, I'm going to do honey talks, which is going to be kind of uh, making fun of TED talks because they can be boring and long and all that stuff. You got any, you got any tips? You got any tips for me? What am I doing right? What am I doing wrong? Any feedback? It's like, um, I definitely think you, you need, uh, you're definitely the honey because you're the candy content. That's but nice. like, especially when you do smack talk, that'd be hilarious. Okay. I'll do it. And, and, and you can, well, you can be my writer. You can tell me who to talk smack about. Oh, that, this is hilarious. Okay, I'm, I'm on this. Oh, crap. I gotta go. I really like talking to you. Thank you so much.